All right, guys. So with the third anniversary and the removal of Tower of Sweet Chaos, sadly, yes, it is removed. Of course, it is going to be coming back according to the developers. But there is something that has been changed and renewed, and that is going to be no other than today's bounty. I wanted to talk about this real quick and, uh, you know, things that you should be keeping in mind uh, while you guys are, you know, approaching this new bounty. So right now, there are going to be five uh, different stages or sections that you're able to go and verse. One is going to be skill powder right here. We got sugar crystals as well as EXP star jellies, coin as well as cake pieces or chaos cake pieces because the tower suite chaos is gone. All right, so they did approach the way probably better than what the original bounty was now we have different ways of earning different materials but again like i stated inside of the update breakdown i think they should have separated the amount of battles you're able to do on each of them so that every player is going to be able to do all of these things without having to decide whether they want to spend their six of their tries as a free-to-play player or the nine tries with the kingdom pass and decide which one they want to tackle and lack the other all right especially the cake pieces because now there's no other way of getting cake cake pieces you know while when we did have the tower sweet chaos you could just do the tower sweet chaos which is completely separate from the bounty where you're gaining skill powders so now let's talk about things uh about the skill powders right now we have up to 15 levels per each of the bosses and you're able to get a certain amount of resources from you know each level so the higher level it is the more resources you're able to get so if you guys go to this skill powder right here you're gonna be able to see that we have individual uh of these rarities and the good thing is that now you're able to get more rarities uh in each of the tries so every single try is gonna grant you a certain amount of regular powder the refined powder as well as pristine powder another bonus is that you're actually able to choose which particular all right powder you want to get from that particular run so instead of having to wait specifically for the day of the skill powder now you're able to go and choose which skill powder you want during that time for that individual attempt so that you don't need to wait around if you haven't done that then just realize if you do the regular one then you're just going to get random skill powders which i'm going to show you right now so if you do the you know level with random uh things selected without having an individual one selected you're gonna see that it's just gonna be random skill powders here all right so let's just quickly get this out of the way here and let me show you guys a good example here of what would be happening all right if you did not choose your specific powder all right all right so we got the boss out of the way and you can see right there it's gonna choose a random skill powder for you and I got the healer powder this time around. And the thing is, the amount is exactly the same. All right. So whether you choose a random or whether you choose a specific, the amount of skill powders you're going to be getting is the same. So why should you choose random, right? So make sure to choose the one that you want. And you can quickly check how much you have by clicking on the storage right on top. And they will show you the amount of skill powders that you have for each individual class as well as the sugar crystals as well so make sure to choose the one that you need or you're lacking right now and for me right now it's going to be support powder because you know i had uh you know silver belt right now right so i'm going to choose the support one and you can see that level 14 is going to grant me 12 of the pristine one so here we go all right guys so level 14 out of the way and you can see that there's 12 of the support powders and now if i get out and go to the level 15 it's gonna be 13 for uh the level here all right so i don't know why you would choose the uh lower level all right only if you couldn't clear level 15 you would choose a lower level but uh right here i'm gonna get 13 now and you can see the little extra effect you know it really doesn't matter i mean the the, the level is not that hard uh it's gonna be doable for almost most players that has been playing for a while uh so go quickly get up to level 15 and then farm as many of the skill powders that you need for the specific class by choosing it rather than keeping it at the random here guys all right so let me just finish this real quick all right got it out of the way here guys so now i have all the way up to level 15 and that's gonna be where i'm just gonna use the time jumpers however that's not it right uh, we do have the uh you know extra stuff that we have gotten so things to keep in mind here guys 
uh, that you guys have to see here. So every single day, you're actually going to have some uh, certain like bonus effects that are going to take place. So if you guys look right over here, it says Monday is going to be the tactician, which is going to be the skill powders. Tuesday, the golem, as well as Wednesday, druid. And then Thursday is going to be the sniper. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday are everything except the cake hound den, which means that the den right here, it's going to be the cake pieces. All right. So uh, everything, you know, is going to reach all the way up to level 15, of course. Everything other than the skill powder, you're going to have to go from level 1 all the way up to level 15 because they have not been done before. The skill powders, you some some of us, most of us, have already done it. And that's why we started at level 15. Alright, um, the thing that I honestly would say is, uh, you know, just go with this. Uh, for a lot of the players who have already gotten a lot of skill powders, you know, there are ways to get ESP star jellies. I personally would say this is not going to be a good way to, of spending your, uh, you know, tries in the bounty. If anything, these two are the only ones. And this is the part where I personally think that they shouldn't have divided this. And the reason why I say this is because normally we were able to already get these two just by doing one time. Now it's split into two uh, and you're just going to have to decide which one you want. Again, I think they should have just split it and made it individual tries that are, you know, six per of the skill powder, six per of the sugar crystals, and then made a, these into like a, you know, weekly dungeon or a daily dungeon. Uh, but I don't know. They decided to go with this way. Uh, again, the same thing goes for the uh, bounty here. If you choose random, you're just going to get one of the random, uh, you know, sugar crystals available to you. If you want a specific one, uh, then you have to choose a specific one and uh, gain that specific one, all right? Uh, so just keep those things in mind. I would say make sure to know what you have and how many you have and decide and uh, you know plan accordingly. Uh, something other that they have added with the new bounty system is going to be extra bounty tries that you're able to get, right? Instead of spending your crystals. So right now inside of the anniversary shop as well as inside of the missions, you're going to be able to get these right here, the bounty tickets. All right. So if you look at the events, uh, it's actually going to be showing here as well. So the bounty events, you're able to get extra bounty tickets for you to go and complete extra tries of the bounty rather than spending your crystals like you had to do before. I don't know how many times and in how many events they're going to actually give out these specific bounty tickets. Um, but it seems like they are going towards the direction of trying to give out more of those tickets so that people are and players are able to take advantage of more bounties right because they have again split up the whole thing if you do want to go and do extra tries uh instead of spending your ticket which actually i'll just show you right now so i'm just gonna add the tickets here and then i'll just do the uh, strength crystal because i need them anyways and then right here you can add six more times by using 300 it's not bad um it's definitely uh, going to be a decent amount of bounties that you're able to do with 300 but again, I personally think that they should split this into two uh, different or three different ones and then give it individual tries per them. But that is going to be the new bounty system here, guys. And, you know, just keep those little things in mind. Just select the ones that you need. Uh, you know, check your storage so that you know exactly what to do. Make sure to take advantage of the bonuses that are going to be throughout the week. And then, of course, the weekend and uh, maximize on the reward that you're able to get and make sure to get the level 80 concentrate you don't want to miss out on the level 80 it is going to be absolutely a crucial crucial thing that you want to save and get for all the free to play players out there with the level cap increase of course so hopefully you guys found the video helpful let me know down in the comments below uh, about you know your take on the new bounty system what do you guys think about it? Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the old one better? Or, uh, you know, what are your thoughts of changing it? And how would you change it if you were able to change it as well? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.